what's up everyone, it's Tuesday evening and this is Weather for Weather Geeks. Finally some good news to talk about in the weather department starting on Wednesday after days of gloomy and cloudy and kind of damp and kind of muggy weather. Um, things are looking up for the second half of the week, but on this first day of October. Let's put a lid on September and take a look at the numbers. Temperature-wise, we finished at 3.2 degrees above the average at the Youngstown Warren Airport. Every single month in 2024 has been warmer than the average. This was our biggest departure from average since May. Look at all those big numbers during the first half of the year. Of course, summer was warmer than the average, but the numbers were not as impressive as earlier on in 2024. Now, precipitation-wise, of course, it was a very up-and-down month. We had a long stretch of very dry weather during the first few days of September, but the last week was pretty wet, so we ended up with a little bit of a surplus at the Youngstown Warren Regional Airport in Vienna, 0 .09, making it our third consecutive wetter-than-average month. We've had two drier than average months thus far in 2024, February, and then especially at the start of summer in June. And on this October the 1st, it is a season of changes. Of course, we're losing daylight rapidly at this time of the year. We're in the middle of solar autumn where we're losing a good two minutes and 40 seconds per day worth of daylight. And our sun angle on today's date is equivalent to March the 10th. In other words, at solar noon, the, point, the time of the day that the sun is at its highest point in the sky, it is up there at about 45 degrees above the horizon. 72 degrees is where we peak at the start of summer, and we reach our nadir, if you will, at 26 degrees above the horizon on the uh, 21st, roughly, uh, each year of uh, December. That is, of course, the beginning of winter here in the Northern Hemisphere. And, you know, 45 degrees is kind of sort of a magic number when it comes to our sun angle. Once the peak sun angle fails to reach 45 degrees consistently, as we get into October, no surprise, the leaves really start to change color more rapidly, uh, leaves start falling more rapidly. It's all about the production of chlorophyll, and chlorophyll uh, synthesis really is depleted once, you know, of course the days get cooler, but also you just don't see much strong sunlight once that sun angle dips below 45 degrees. So the less sunlight and the lower the sun angle, chlorophyll depletion leads to other pigments showing up. The, green, the greens give way to reds and yellows and oranges, things like that. Now the best recipe for a great foliage season, sunny days and cool nights, but you know, it's kind of like uh, you, you need to split the uprights here a little bit. Too many sunny and dry days, like we had in September, can kind of put some stress on the trees. That's why I think before you know some of this rainier weather settled in over the last week, we saw a fair amount of changing of colors and also some leaf droppage, maybe ahead of schedule by some extent in September, because a lot of trees were pretty stressed out. Now, you don't want a super rainy and warm September either, because that can also kind of mute the fall colors. All right, we have some changes coming our way in the form of a cold front. That front is producing showers from the western end of Lake Erie through Sandusky. As of this recording, it's 7.09, and this cold front is extending off to the south and west into parts of Indiana as well. There's not going to be much rain with this front, but a lot of us will probably see a handful of showers overnight for tonight. This is the map we really want to see, the dew points. You know, we're into October now, we're into the time of the year we don't talk about dew points very often, but of course it's been kind of muggy of late. It hasn't been very warm. With a canopy of clouds overhead, we've been mostly in the 60s to around 70 or so over the last few days. Um, but it has been kind of muggy for late September. Uh, but the dew points are dropping in far northwest Ohio as we speak. Look at those dew points out towards Dubuque, Green Bay, Milwaukee, Chicago. A uh, very, very big change in the air mass coming our way. Timing on the showers overnight. Uh, most of us get wet uh, to midnight, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. Most of us will sleep through this. As you get up tomorrow morning, the raindrops should be gone, and we'll call it a mix of sun and clouds for our Wednesday morning, and then bright and sunny before the afternoon is through. Crystal clear Wednesday night. Warm front lifts through Thursday, and Thursday afternoon, Friday afternoon, looking fantastic. This next front on the weather map will push through Friday night with little fanfare. Probably no wet weather with that one. And it will knock our temperatures back a little bit on Saturday, but I think Saturday will still be warmer than the average. And actually looks like a really nice start to the upcoming weekend. But one change in our forecast for the upcoming weekend, the uh, front, which yesterday looked like it would pass through Sunday night, is now looking a little faster on, some, on a lot of our weather modeling. So that would put it on track to pass through our area during the afternoon and perhaps early evening on Sunday. And actually, today's modeling is pretty impressive looking with this front. Some of the uh, dynamics with this would suggest we might have a severe weather threat uh, Sunday afternoon, maybe very early Sunday evening. Now, 
today's only Tuesday and the models may continue shifting the timing, but today's models were pretty consistent in an afternoon passage with quite a bit of wind energy aloft. So this may be something that needs to be on our radar over the next handful of days. We could have some rowdy storms before Sunday is through, but we're not gonna have many rowdy storms in the medium range. I'll tell you, the modeling is bone dry for a lot of the country uh, during the first couple of weeks of October. You know, we're gonna have a couple of rain chances, but only a couple. Um, below average precipitation favored, not only here locally, but in most of the Midwest, the Corn Belt, out into the Plain States. Uh, this is good news for harvest season in, in many, you know, ag communities across the, the Midwest. Uh, they're gonna have plenty of opportunity to get out into the fields um, without uh, worrying about wet weather. But, you know, this is gonna be a really dry stretch. And this pattern kind of reminds me a lot of the first couple of weeks of September, um, where we just had very, very few opportunities for rain. I think that'll be the case during the first half of October as well. Looks pretty warm on balance. We're gonna have cold fronts that occasionally give us a day or two of cooler weather, but on balance, you know, I don't think this is any sort of uh, particularly chilly looking early uh, part of October. That may change later in October, but early October is not looking particularly cool at all. That'll do it for me on Weather for Weather Geeks on this Tuesday evening. Thanks for watching as always. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I will see you back here on Wednesday.